Hey everybody, my name is Dan Clark and uh, I've got a very, very, I feel, very important message to share with the world today. And uh, I think it's timely and I think we're ready to hear it. And uh, the reason I'm, I'm talking about this, it has to do with a different type of love. You know, we all think of love as kindness, goodness, self-control, you know, all these things in the Bible. But there's a particular aspect of love that I think is starting to awaken in people. And I just want to be one that opens the door. I want to speak to it candidly and I want to speak to it as it is. The type of love that I'm talking about is called the warrior archetype. You know, a lot of people, you know, are seeing that the world is out of homeostasis. It's out of balance. It's, it's lost its equilibrium. And something inside of us and in many people, a lot of spiritual people are saying, what's wrong with me? I'm getting this warrior, you know, kind of spirit, this, hey, I can't let this injustice happen. And, 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 they're, and they're, what they're doing is they're denying it. They're, they're pushing it down. They're saying this doesn't belong in a spiritual person. But I think the warrior architect type comes from the Godhead. And I think if it's coming to us, you or me or whoever, that we were chosen to maybe embrace it, if we will, if we want to be that aspect of God's army that brings justice to this world. Think about it. We're out of equilibrium. What's it going to take? It's going to take an atomic force of light, an atomic force of light. What did I call it here? Righteous indignation. And, you know, you know, when you think about it, when, when you think about when was righteous indignation, when was this warrior spirit ever so needed? Was it needed in the time of Hitler? What if we were all passive? What if we were all just, you know, turn the other cheek? We see Hitler, you know, coming in and genociding people, frying them in the ovens and gassing them. What if we were just passive and we just turn the other cheek? You know, and that warrior spirit in us said, no, this can't happen. What happens when we see somebody who's getting raped? Do we go passive? Do we just turn the other cheek? You know, do we just say, oh, it'll work itself out. It's an illusion. It, you know, are we passive? Oh, love, oh, love will make things work. No, something in us, something needed at that time comes forth and we rush in and we do what's got to be done. It, it's an intelligence. A lot of people don't realize that this warrior archetype is an intelligence and it tells us what to do and we need to do. It's needed right now in the world, this warrior archetype. And I know it's, it's, it's trying to awaken in many people, but I wanted to speak it into existence. I wanted to say, yes, we need to embrace it. Hitler, if there wasn't an atomic force of light to stop that darkness, what would have happened? It wouldn't be pretty, would it? And it isn't pretty when the atomic force comes up in us and we have to do something about it. We got to get a little dirty. What happens if a girl's getting raped by a big guy and, you know, we got to run over there and do something? Yeah, you know, we got to hit them. We got to knock them off. We got to do something. We're going to get dirty. We're going to get hit. We might get hurt, but we do it anyway because it's the right thing to do. And it's the same thing with a bully. What do you do when you when you <clears throat> when you were in school and you saw a kid being bullied, you know, and you looked over? Did, did you just turn passive and say, God, I hope the bully don't turn to me? But what if you were called? What if something was rising up in you saying you're not going to hit that kid another time? You're not going to do it one more time. You know, you would accept it. You'd say, no, I'm going over. They say, hey, you know, you don't hit him again ever, ever. And you do what you need to do. You would do what you need to do. Just like if somebody was raped, you might go get a baseball bat. You might do whatever's needed to do. I think that the Godhead is sending down the spirit of warrior for those who will embrace it, those who will say yes to it, those who will thank God for it, and those who will use it when the time is needed. I don't think we need to know how we're going to use it, like in any of these cases, you know, with the bully, with the girls being raped, with genocide. I don't think we need to know the how. We just need to be willing 
vessels to do what's needed for righteousness sake so that darkness don't prevail. The warrior archetype is the great equilibrium. It's the great equalizer. You know, when you think of an equalizer, you think of this big bully or big guy that's coming after you. So what do you do? You know, sometimes you grab a baseball bat or a big pipe or something. You get what they call an equalizer. Well, those people today, those people who will embrace the warrior archetype that's coming down from the Godhead that says, yes, use me, use me, Lord, I'm ready. When you think about David and Goliath, you know, there, there, there was a bully, right? The, the, the Goliath was a bully in the land. And what did the boy use? Well, he used the thing that he had to use. He used a sling and he had a little rock in it. And, and, and he went like that and he, he spun it and it hit him in the head and he took down the giant and he stopped it. That is righteous indignation. That is the warrior spirit. And I think more and more of us, it's, it's rising. I, I feel it building. I, I know it's building in a lot of people. A lot of people are saying, what is this thing? What is this thing that's saying no more? What is this thing that's saying stop? What is this thing that's rising up against this darkness that's in our world that, that's trying to overtake? And, and, and as you know, as darkness, begins as, as, as a genocide begins. You remember Rwanda? They don't last long. The dark forces give it everything they got. They come full forward and darkness tries to prevail. And it did over there, but it got ugly. You know, light forces come in, atomic light forces of warrior come in and snuff it out, snuff out the darkness. So I think what's happening in the world today is there's a lot of warrior archetypes being built up from the inside out. They're ready for anything. And I think rather than question it, rather than deny it, rather than say, man, I'm going backwards spiritually, we need to try to understand it. Yeah, you know, Jesus was not passive. He went in, flipped over tables, he called people whitewashed graves, hypocrites, offspring of viper, I mean, he was hardcore. He went up against the religious institutions. Yeah, you know, and he says, you live from the heart. You don't live from this, this idea, this and that. And I mean, he went up against the toughest people. He was a radical. He had courage. He had the righteous indignation. He didn't like to see suffering going on. And so that's what's happening to us. There's a spirit now descending on the earth and it should be invited, it should be welcomed, it should be embraced, and we should say, yes, yes, use me, use me. We don't wanna see suffering. We don't wanna see what's happening right now, candy-coated uh, ideas trying to sell us on different things. We don't want that. We don't wanna see a genocide in our land. We don't want this left and right and all this yin and yang. We don't want that. We want truth. We want righteousness. And we don't want what's happening right now in our world. So I wanna tell you, if you feel right now this indignation, if you feel this warrior, I'm gonna call it a warrior archetype. I got some notes here. Just know that it's, it's an atomic force of light it's righteous indignation, and it's coming just at the right time. Don't you think it's needed right now? Aren't you glad when the warriors come and they stop the genocide? Aren't you glad when, the, when, when, when David, you know, slew the giant? Aren't you glad when the guy goes up to the bully and says no? Aren't you glad when the guy pulls the woman off the, the, the woman that's being raped? And he's a hero. He's a hero. Well... I think it's something that we're being called to right now. I really do believe it's a spirit and it's coming from the Godhead and it has intelligence and it has super power. And I believe it's drawing people together of like mind just right now when it's needed. So I just wanna say, if that spirit, that warrior archetype if you're starting to feel it, you can say no to it. You can say, no, God, I'm not the one. But if you feel it strong and you feel like, hey, you're the one, Neo, you know, you're the one, 
then embrace it and then say, Lord, what would you have me do? You know, and a lot of people are saying that right now. What do I do? What do I do in this crazy world? We got to do something. Don't worry. The spirit from the Godhead will show us all what to do when it's time to do it. And so we don't have to be anxious. We don't have to be anything. But I do think we have to embrace it. I think we have to not deny it. I don't think we question it. We just say, I'm ready. I'm ready to be used when you want to use me how you want to use me. And that's a beautiful thing. And what glorious time we live in that we can be a vessel um, for righteousness sake. And, and just think about that. I mean, how many people think about that? Think about love. That Think about a warrior archetype as an aspect of God's love. But, you know, you look in the Bible, you know, you see God as a warrior. It, to me, it's called wholeness. It's called wholeness. I mean, if, if we don't have that aspect of courage and power, then, then we're not really whole. If somebody can just come up and smack us upside the head and treat us how they will or say, get in that gas chamber and die or get on those trains or go to Auschwitz. I, I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't think we, were, we would be whole if, if we didn't have that particular aspect of love. Just think about that. The warrior archetype is an aspect of God's love to bring back, to bounce back, to unleash its forces of light. Indignation. What did I call it? Um, oh, it's right here. Righteous indignation. Just think about that. We can be a part of righteous indignation. This ain't going to go on. This is not going to continue. So just know this. I just want to say in closing that the spirit of warrior archetype, I think it's going to get stronger and stronger as we continue to see the dark forces press in on us, press in from different angles and try to make us to conform to its darkness. You know, the Academy or Emmy Awards or whatever was on the other day and, and all those orgies and, and, you know, cop hating and all that stuff, all of it's got to go. Every bit of it's got to go. And righteous indignation is what is going to push back, push back and rise up. It's a, it's a new timeline. It's a timeline of power that's coming in. So I just want to say to everybody, hey, welcome it embrace it and be ready to use it and it will tell you what to do and how to do it all right that's it uh, just wanted to share that with you i hope you share this video share this video everybody's questioning everybody right now is saying what do i do what do i do you know how do i respond to this world that's getting darker and darker really fast you know what do i do share this video it will help them pass this video around. Let people know you might be one of the ones chosen. You might be the one of the ones that the Godhead is sending down courage and power to stand up. And I can feel it. I'm telling you, I can feel it in the world. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. And this blowback is going to be powerful. This blowback is going to blow back so hard that they won't know it hit them. So anyway gear up. Um, it's this, this spirit, this warrior spirit is bracing us up for activity and it's right on time. It is right on time. Accept it. Let's get this word out. Let's get this word out so that people aren't afraid of it, so that people can meditate on it, so people can think about it and they can start to process and so that we can be part of the righteous indignation that pushes back against evil. All right, everybody have a nice day and thanks for listening. Bye-bye.